Hey guys, today we're going to be working in Photoshop CS4 and we're going to be making a fireball type deal that looks about something like this. Okay, well that's not working. Hold on a second. It's going to look a little like this, so let's get started. So go back to your Photoshop, file new. Let's, let's see, 900 by 800 pixels should be fine. Set the background color to this to black, and then let's create a new layer. So let's go to, and let's select the elliptical, elliptical marquee tool, and start in the corner and shift and click, and you know have a decent size circle. So let's go to filter, render, clouds. Back to filter, render difference clouds, and then image adjustments, invert image adjustments, find its levels. So let's put it at about 0 0.08 or 0 0.09, somewhere in that ballpark should be alright. Then we go back to filter, stylize, and let's find edges, and then image adjustments, invert, my bad, image adjustments, invert, and then image adjustments, let's go to hue and saturation. Now you want to make sure in the bottom right corner of the hue and saturation box that you get the colorized box checked, and then for the saturation it's at 100, and then keep the hue and lightness, see in the saturation 100 will give you this nice deep red looking color so it's it okay and let's go to layer and duplicate layer layer one copy is fine and then make sure you're in layer one copy and then let's go back to image adjustments hue and saturation and let's make sure you once again get the colorized box checked now let's make the hue let's try 35 and saturation 100 what this will do, it will give you a nice orange tint. Let's actually put the hue to 30. And it gives you a nice orange tint like you got here. So click OK. And then let's set the overlay or the blending mode to screen. And then merge down. Merge layer 1 down and copy into layer 1. And hit this to screen. And then let's hide this. And create a new layer. So let's start again, let's filter, uh, render clouds and filter, render difference clouds, image adjustments, invert image adjustments, find levels, or just levels, about the point of weight, okay, filters, stylize, find edges, image, adjustments, invert, image, adjustments, do saturation, colorize, 100 for the saturation, and 0 for hue and lightness, click OK, layer, duplicate, layer to copy, image, adjustments, once again make sure you are in the layer to copy, and then colorize, let's put the saturation at 100, and the hue at, what was it, 30? Yeah. And click OK. Now, you're going to want to do this so you get a total of, well, just hold on a second. So let's set the blending mode to screen and merge down and set the layer 2 blending over the, yeah, blending mode to screen. So you want to do this whole process to where you get about five whole layers of this so I'll come back to you after I finish these so stay tuned alright guys now that you've got your five layers you got layer one two three four and five you can start to bring them all so you can see them so just check the little eye right here you see they come together nice so now you can 
merge them all down or just merge visible so pretty much flatten the image and now we can save it let's save as let's name this fireball and we're going to save it as a jpeg and let's just save I'm going to save mine to my desktop real quick now the quality maximum whatever you want Reuse everything else, the defaults, so we can check it, and this is what we got. And it's really, really nice, so really easy thing to do. So just keep in touch and uh, look for my next videos as I post them. So have a nice day.